Welcome to Chittenden County, Vermont, where vibrant communities and breathtaking natural beauty come together to create a unique and enriching way of life. This is where I grew up and there's a reason I stay. Nestled in the heart of our Green Mountain State, Chittenden County is home to diverse towns and cities, each offering a distinct blend of culture, tradition, and opportunity. Whether you're seeking top-notch education, cultural enrichment, or outdoor adventures, Chittenden County has it all. In this video, we'll review some quick demographic information and then dive into each town, its defining characteristics, housing trends, and some top places and spaces. Welcome to Burlington, Vermont. It is just over 44,700 people. Burlington, often dubbed Queen City, is Vermont's largest city and its cultural and economic hub. Burlington's downtown is a bustling mix of locally owned shops, restaurants, and cafes. Church Street Marketplace here today is a pedestrian-only shopping and dining area, is the heart of it all, hosting street performers, farmers markets, and countless festivals throughout the year. The city is home to the University of Vermont, Champlain College, contributing to the youthful atmosphere and offering educational and cultural opportunities for residents. Burlington offers a diverse culinary scene with farm table restaurants, food trucks, and coffee shops. Burlington is also known for its thriving craft beer culture with eight local breweries. With a thriving music and art scene, venues like Higher Ground and the Flynn Center for Performing Arts host a diverse range of acts and performances. Living in Burlington means having access to the stunning Lake Champlain. Residents can enjoy waterfront parks, biking along the bike path, sailing, or simply taking in the breathtaking views of the Adirondack Mountains. Housing in Burlington is as diverse as its community. Rental prices vary, but $1,100 is about an average for a per bedroom. Real estate average sales prices in these different pockets of Burlington can range from $450,000 to up over $2 million. Today we are in my current hometown of South Burlington, Vermont. South Burlington, Vermont is a city most known for its convenience, access, and community. Home to our major international airport, beautiful parks, and bike paths, plenty of restaurants and grocery options, this town has what you need. South Burlington boasts an extensive park system, including Red Rocks Park, where you can walk down to the gorgeous Lake Champlain. The city is home to several shopping destinations, including the University Mall, the Blue Mall, and shops off Shelburne Road. With over six grocery stores and 20 or more restaurants, there's never a lack of food options. South Burlington Night Out brings locals together for concerts, food trucks, games, and much more through the summer. Market Street here is a host for gatherings such as the South Burlington Energy Fair and Illuminate. For real estate in South Burlington, you can find single family homes in established several different neighborhoods, as well as new build homes in communities. Vermont takes its stance on green energy seriously, and Vermont's first electric only neighborhood is in process of being built in South Burlington. Prices you can expect here for real estate for a three bed, two bath home, single family, range from 500 to 600,000. Welcome to Winooski, my hometown. This is a thriving urban oasis. Winooski, Vermont is also known as the Brooklyn of Burlington because it's a small city with a big heart. Nestled along the Winooski River and just minutes from Burlington, Winooski is a vibrant and welcoming community that's well worth exploring. It's a one square mile town and at the center of Chittenden County. It borders Essex, Colchester, Burlington, and South Burlington. So it's a strategic base for exploring the best of Vermont. Winooski is celebrated for its diversity and inclusive spirit. The city is home to a multicultural population and its streets are lined with a variety of international restaurants, shops, and markets. Events like Waking Windows Music Festival and Art Walk Winooski bring the community together to celebrate creativity and talent. The city boasts a diverse dining scene with restaurants that offer a wide array of cuisines from Vietnamese to Ethiopian, Mexican to classic American. There's something to satisfy every palate. Popular scenic trails are the Gilbrook Reservoir and the Casavant Nature Trail. For Winooski Real Estate, whether you're looking for a charming downtown apartment, a cozy riverside condo, or a single family home with some character, Winooski has options to suit various lifestyles. Average real estate price of a three bed, two bath home is around 425 to 475,000. Welcome to Essex. If you just can't decide what's more important for you, city or country, then Essex Town and the Junction should make the top of your list. The village's downtown area is a hub of activity. Right nearby, we have boutiques, restaurants, local shops lining the streets, making it easy to spend a day exploring the vibrant local scene. The Essex Experience, which is further into the town, is a vibrant community space hosting a variety of events, including local theater performances, art exhibitions, and live entertainment. The village offers several parks, including Maple Street Park and Sand Hill Park. 
Indian Brook Reservoir is also a fantastic place for hiking, fishing, and nature appreciation. The Junction offers easy living condos and smaller starter homes on city lots, where the town offers larger homes on lots spanning 10 or more acres. Essex has one of the larger housing stocks in the Chittenden County area. Costs for real estate on a single family, three bed, two bath home would average around $450 to the $550,000 range. Welcome to Westford. One of the defining features of Westford is its stunning natural landscape characterized by pristine woodland streams and sweeping mountain views. The town center I'm here at today is home to several well-preserved historic buildings, including the Westford Public Library, formerly known as Westford Academy, a schoolhouse dating back to 1844, the beautiful church on the hill and the Westford Country Store. Throughout the year, Westford hosts a variety of community events and festivals, including the Winterfest, which celebrate the town's agricultural heritage and provide opportunities for neighbors to come together and enjoy each other's company. Most of Westford is comprised of medium to large size homes on five acres or more. Average price of a three bed, two bath would be around 450 to 550,000. Westford is the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of life and enjoy simple pleasures of rural living. Welcome to Underhill, Vermont, where nature's beauty beckons. Tucked away in the heart of Vermont, Underhill is a town that offers a serene escape from the city life. With its lush forests, rolling hills, and a strong sense of community, Underhill is an ideal place for those seeking a simpler and more natural way of life. The town is surrounded by vast forests, part of the Green Mountain National Forest, Underhill State Park, nestled at the base of Mount Mansfield, all of this offering countless opportunities for outdoor adventures. The town hosts various community events, such as the annual Underhill Harvest Market, which bring residents together to celebrate the spirit and community of local business. Housing in Underhill ranges from historic farmhouses with vast acres of land to cozy single family homes with room to grow. It is an affordable option for those who want land to roam with the average price of a three bed, two bath home anywhere from $450 to $550,000. Welcome to beautiful Charlotte, Vermont. Charlotte's most striking feature is its location around the shores of Lake Champlain. It's 20 to 30 minutes from Burlington, south on Route 7. Residents are privileged with easy access to the lake, allowing for a myriad of water-based activities, including swimming, boating, and fishing. The stunning lake views and sunsets are simply breathtaking. When not on the water, the rest of the town is surrounded by lush farmland, rolling hills, and a cute town center we're here at today. Nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts will find plenty to explore on the numerous trails and nature preserves, such as the Charlotte Town Beach. The town regularly hosts community events, local fairs and gatherings, including the tractor parade and music on the beach. Beautiful estate homes enriched with history as well as waterfront retreats are what characterize the real estate here in Charlotte. With minimum 10 acre zoning, median sales price for a three bed, two bath home would be around 800,000 and for Lakefront, you're looking at over 2 million. Charlotte is a place where lakeside beauty, community engagement, and the rural tranquility of Vermont come together to form a truly special way of life. Welcome to Shelburne, Vermont, where history meets natural beauty. Nestled on the shores of Lake Champlain, Shelburne, Vermont is a town that seamlessly weaves history, culture, and natural beauty into the fabric of everyday life. Shelburne is well known for its historic village center we're here at today, where picturesque streets are lined with charming homes, artisan shops, and quaint boutiques. I loved growing up and coming here to the Shelburne Country Store. The Shelburne Museum offers visitors a remarkable collection of art, Americana, and architecture. One of Shelburne's most iconic attractions is Shelburne Farms, a 1,400-acre working farm and natural historic landmark. While visiting, you can enjoy breathtaking views of Lake Champlain, explore walking trails, and visit the children's farmyard. Other outdoor enjoyment can be found at the La Platte River Natural Area and take in the serene landscapes of Shelburne Pond. Shelburne boasts a diverse dining scene from farm to table restaurants serving locally sourced dishes to cozy cafes and charming bakeries. There's something to satisfy every palate. Housing options in Shelburne are as diverse as possible from waterfront properties with stunning views to estate homes to small neighborhood homes and a ton of new construction. This town offers a wide variety of choices. I would say average price for a three bed, two bath home in Shelburne would be around 600,000. Huntington, Vermont is a town that seamlessly blends the warmth of a close-knit community with breathtaking beauty of its natural surroundings. Huntington's most defining feature is its natural splendor. The town is surrounded by lush forests, pristine streams, and scenic mountain vistas. The nearby Camel's Hump State Park offers opportunity for challenging hikes and breathtaking views. 
the Huntington River with its clear perfect waters is a great spot for fishing and paddling. However, it's important to note that certain spots of the infamous Huntington Gorge are unsafe and I've experienced this myself falling down rapids, losing a shoe, and banging out my hip. Huntington is primarily single family on wooded acre lots. An average price for a three bed, two bath might be somewhere between 400 to 450,000. Today we are in Hinesburg, Vermont, a tranquil retreat with rural charm. This is small town Vermont life. This town hosts community events and local gatherings such as the Hinesburg Summer Concert Series, offering ample opportunities to come together with fellow residents. The Hinesburg Town Forest covers 836 acres of mixed woodland, which offers opportunity for hiking, mountain biking, and cross-country skiing. Housing in Hinesburg ranges from classic New England style homes with spacious yards to modern townhomes and larger parcel estates. Your average price of a three bed, two bath home would be around 500,000. Come and experience Hinesburg for yourself and you'll quickly understand why so many are proud to call this town home. Welcome to Richmond, Vermont, one of local's favorite quaint towns of Chittenden County. This town offers a perfect blend of natural beauty and small town charm. With its scenic landscape, including rolling hills and the picturesque Winooski River, Richmond is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts year round. The iconic Round Church, Richmond Community Kitchen, and the Volunteers of Green Family Park are just three of the town's favorites for gatherings, for farmers markets and more. The town's vibrant art scene, historic downtown, and diverse dining options add to its appeal. Whether you're exploring the extensive hiking and biking trails, browsing local galleries, or savoring farm to table cuisine, Richmond welcomes visitors with warm community spirit and timeless New England allure. Real estate in this community is highly desired due to its proximity between Burlington and Montpelier. Being a small town, however, inventory is light, so when there is a great house on the market, you can be sure it will get high interest. Price of a great single family, three bedroom, two bath home would be 600 to 700,000. Welcome to Jericho, Vermont. Nestled at the foot of Mount Mansfield and surrounded by the lush beauty of the Green Mountains, Jericho is a town that effortlessly marries the tranquility of rural living with the thrill of outdoor adventure. The iconic Red Mill here tells the story and hosts the Snowflake Bentley Museum, full of the beauty of magical snow coming down from the sky. The town offers an array of recreational opportunities, including fishing, mountain biking, hiking and camping, as well as snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. The nearby Mills Riverside Park is a great destination for picnics, paddling, and exploring the Serene Browns River. The Jericho Town Store, founded in the early 1800s, has a town green where locals gather for picnics in the park and holiday events. Housing in Jericho ranges from classic Vermont farmhouses with expansive acres to cozy single-family homes with spacious yards. Median sales price range for a three-bed, two-bath, 550 to 700,000. And here we are in Williston with its neighboring town, St. George. The best of town and country, nestled in Chittenden County, these towns are a bit old heart with new town spirit. The location of these towns provide easy access to Interstate 89, exits 11 and 12. These towns are situated near the Winooski River, providing opportunities for outdoor adventures like fishing, hiking, and bird watching. The Catamount Family Outdoor Center, located in Williston, offers various recreational activities, including mountain biking, golfing, skiing, and trail running. The village of Williston we're here at today, my brokerage is right down the road, houses historic buildings, town offices, while the center offers a range of shopping and dining options. The Maple Tree Place Shopping Center features a variety of retail stores and restaurants, making it easy for residents to find everything they need close to home. This includes restaurants, cinema, local retail, and a town green that hosts concerts in the summer. Housing options in Williston and the St. George area cater to various lifestyles from smaller starter manufactured homes to spacious family homes with large yards. Two modern condominiums and apartments. Finney Crossing, which is actually one of the larger developments, continues to expand, offering a mix of apartments, carriage homes, and expansive townhomes. An average three bed, two bath home in Williston area would be around 550 to 650,000. Welcome to Colchester, life on the lake. Colchester's location is just minutes from Burlington, which provides easy access to the city's vibrant culture, shopping, dining, and entertainment options. The town offers an array of parks, trails, and nature preserves, such as Niket Bay and the State Park, the Colchester Causeway. It's a place where waterfront living, community engagement, and natural beauty converge to create a lifestyle that's hard to beat. Housing in Colchester is diverse, including single family homes with picturesque lake views, modern condos, and cozy apartments. Average price for a three bed, two bath home would be around 500 to 600,000. Hello from Milton, nestled in the Northwest corner of Chittenden County. This town 
Hamilton offers a charming blend of rural beauty and small town charm. Milton boasts a rich history dating back to its early days as a thriving agricultural hub. One of the defining features of Milton is its countryside. You can explore miles of scenic trails for hiking, biking, or enjoy leisurely drives along country roads with historic farm stands and quaint homesteads. Community events and festivals are regular occurrence in Milton, often here at Bombardier Park, provide opportunities for neighbors to come together and celebrate their shared heritage for traditions. For outdoor enthusiasts, Milton offers access to Lake Champlain, Vermont's largest freshwater lake, where boating, fishing, and swimming are popular pastimes during the warmer months. The town also boasts several parks and recreational areas, including Sandbar State Park, known for its sandy beaches and scenic picnic spots. For real estate, average price of a three-bed, two-bath home would be around $450,000. So in conclusion, in Chittenden County, you're not just buying a home, you're investing in a lifestyle. From its thriving art scene and local, vibrant community economy to its breathtaking natural beauty and strong sense of community, this corner of Vermont has it all. Chittenden County is a magnet for those seeking a high quality of life in a picturesque New England setting. As your local real estate expert, I'm here to navigate the diverse real estate market in Chittenden County and find you the perfect place to call home. Let's embark on this exciting journey together.